What is up guys? Thank you for clicking my video. So, today's video is a bit different. I've never done anything like this before. It is going to be my first ever Q&A. So, I thought I'd do a QA. and a I hit 500 subscribers, so to celebrate and to just, if you have any questions or want to get to know me, I thought I'd let you ask me questions and I'd answer them. So, I actually got questions. I am actually very, very shocked. So, I didn't think anyone would leave me a question, but surprisingly, I actually have like 10, which is pretty good for me. Obviously, it's not loads, but I'm very happy with it. So, any of you guys that ask me questions, thank you very much. You made me feel so appreciated. So, I also did a giveaway to celebrate my 500 subscribers. So, if you haven't checked out my Instagram and you want to win a Tonk t-shirt, go to my Instagram. I posted this photo yesterday, so go comment on that. All the rules are there. Also, follow me if you are interested because there will be a couple more photos put up where you can enter into the giveaway. So, if you do want a free t-shirt and a whole month online coaching with me for free, enter on Instagram. But anyways, guys. Let's get into this q and So, I've got all the questions written down. I don't have the names of the people that left the questions, but if you left the question, thank you very much. You'll know who you are. I really, really appreciate it. So every time I say a question, it's gonna appear on the screen here, just so you guys know exactly what I'm answering. So, question number one. What is my favorite exercise? This is a hard one. Like, I thought this would be easy, but this is actually quite hard. I'm gonna say, it's gonna, there's, a, there's a couple. So. Squats. I love squats because I feel like I'm quite good at squats and I enjoy them when I do them, but I have a love-hate relationship. I hate them the rest of the time. Like the thought of squats, it's just like, oh, but when I do it, I'm just like, yes, this is just great. So love-hate relationship there. So squats is probably one of my favorite. Most people probably say like bench because it's easy, but I hate bench, not gonna lie. Especially now my shoulder and my elbow are playing up. I literally cannot stand bench. Obviously, have to do chest, and I do enjoy doing chest. It's fairly easy and not too bad, but I don't enjoy it as much as I used to. When I was a newbie, like, I loved chest. Chest was just the best. But now, chest is probably my least favorite day. But I also have another favorite exercise, which is really, really random, because I used to hate it. Literally, just couldn't stand it. But it is standing military press with dumbbells. Literally, love it to death now. I literally do it, like, twice a week, and I absolutely love it. Just the pump and just the feel. I used to absolutely hate it. it used to hurt my lower back. I just, I just didn't enjoy it. I just hated any military press. I just didn't enjoy shoulders. But absolutely love it now. It feels great. I, I figured out the form really well. And I just love it. Like the pump is great. Obviously I have, still have tiny shoulders. I'm always going to have tiny shoulders. Just, just call me tiny shoulders. But it is literally my favourite exercise. That and squats. Just oh, perfect. So question number two. If you didn't get into fitness and YouTube, what would you do? So, I got into fitness when I was about 16, but before that, I had the idea I wanted to be a zookeeper. Literally, my whole childhood, I loved animals and zoos. My mum would take me to literally every zoo she could. I think I've been to at least half the zoos in England. Like, I love zoos. I used to go all the time. Like, every other weekend we'd go to a zoo. I even like sponsored animals at a certain zoo and I actually did be a zookeeper for a day when I was like 13 and got to feed like tigers and tapirs and camels and stuff. It was like really cool, but that was literally what I wanted to do. Then I got to college and I was just like, mm, don't know what to do. Literally had no idea what I wanted to do. Started gym in college, went to the college gym. Then I got bit by the fitness bug, fell in love with it. Literally straight away got my qualifications to be a trainer. But then I ended up in some random jobs for a few years. Then I ended up finally getting a gym job. Then moved on to a couple more gym jobs. And now I meet. Got into YouTube because I've been putting it off for so long. I'd wanted to do it since that 16. And when I started watching Chris Jones, people like that literally became obsessed with YouTube. But it's taken me this long to start YouTube. So now I'm at a point where I've literally quit my job. I do a couple things on the side. Then I do online coaching. I've got these t-shirts. And obviously I film YouTube, but don't get paid for this, but it is so much fun. So that's what I'd be if I wasn't doing this. I'd literally be shoveling shit in a zoo. Yes. So question number three, this is from someone at the gym. Do I even lift anymore? I know why you're asking me that question. I didn't go to the gym for at least 10 days and my diet just went out the window. I understand why you're asking this question. I probably look 
like a shriveled up old person right now. I feel so small, but I also feel fat at the same time. And I just literally didn't go to the gym in ages. So as soon as people see me again, they're like, do you even lift? Come on, bro. Like, where are your gains at? I literally feel like I've lost all my gains. So I do still lift. I'm back this week. I've already done four sessions and I've been smashing it. So happy. Legs was amazing. Like, oh, so good. Can't wait to get back into it. Obviously, I'm a lot weaker at the moment because I didn't train for 10 days. My strength's gone down a little bit. <sighs> I feel a lot fatter. I just don't feel like I look very good. But give me a couple of weeks. Back on it. Body will adapt. Back on the diet. My weight will go back down. And I'll look great again. And I'll feel good again. And I'll look like I lift. So, question number four. This one's a good one. Do you like Nando's? Of course I like Nando's. I'm English, like Nando's is just like an English tradition. Everyone loves Nando's. Kind of cheeky Nando's is just like life. Like, I haven't been in a while, not gonna lie, but Nando's is literally one of the best things ever. Pretty expensive sometimes, especially for me, like I wanna get like a whole chicken, plus sides, but it is so flipping good. You cannot beat a Nando's. I'd put Nando's up with my top five favorite foods. It is so good. So following on from the Nando's, question number five is, What's my favorite food? Now this is actually quite a hard question. I'm actually quite stumped for this one. I have so many favorite foods. It is very hard. So pizza is definitely up there. Ice cream, 100% up there. And also burgers. To choose out them three, which one do I choose? Pizza, burgers, or ice cream? Oh, that is such a hard, hard question. Like literally. But I'm just gonna have to go with Ice cream, like literally Ben and Jerry's. Oh my God. And how, like just ice cream in general is just, just the best. I could eat ice cream. If I could live off ice cream, I would live off ice cream. Literally. Like, I'd probably get bored of pizza, but ice cream, I don't think I'd get bored of ice cream. I literally could eat it all day. And I'm lactose intolerant. I literally am in love with ice cream. So yeah, ice cream is my favorite food. So question number six, this is a pretty good one. How do you stay motivated when you're trying your hardest and don't see any progress or you even lose progress? This is a flipping great question. So how do I stay motivated? I'm going to take you back, way back to when I was 16 to tell you how I started in the gym, what motivated me for a few years, and then I'll tell you what motivates me right now. So when I was a teenager, I really wanted to go to the gym and just get huge, literally like the Hulk. And the reason for this is, if you didn't know already, some guy attacked my granddad on New Year's Eve at a party and killed him. And literally that guy was a man mountain. He was like six foot five and ridiculously huge, clearly full of steroids. But back at that time, I literally thought I need to get bigger than him and beat the shit out of him. That was, that was literally what motivated me to go to the gym for like, probably till I was like 20. Literally, I just wanted to get massive. Obviously I'm not huge. You can see I failed, but that was my goal, just to get massive. So as soon as I turned 16 and I could go to the gym properly and lift weights, because most gyms in England, you have to be 16 to start lifting weights. So as soon as that happened, I was at the gym. I even did MMA for a few years just so I could literally fight and just be huge because that is all I wanted to do. That was my motivation. But my motivation now is completely different. So if you didn't know already, when I was like 18, 19, I got pretty big. I was trying to bulk, obviously trying to be huge like Hulk. And I got like this. That is my motivation right now. I am a secret fat kid at heart. I literally could eat all day. The past week has shown that. I literally ate whatever I wanted. But I don't ever want to end up like that ever again. That is my motivation, just to, to stay lean. And I enjoy the gym, so that's also my motivation. I enjoy just training, but not looking like that. That is my motivation. So going to the gym allows me to eat crappy food sometimes and not look like that. But there's a good question because I actually have lost motivation at the moment. And I've been saying about it for the past few days. I really don't feel like training. I haven't felt great, but that is my motivation. I look at that picture, Every so often I'm just like, yeah, I need to train. No matter how hard it is, no matter how much I struggle, that is not where I wanna be. And I still wanna eat good food because I love food. So they're my motivations. So question number seven, what is your favorite type of film? This is another great question because I love movies. So I have an unlimited card at the cinema. I love movies that much. I watch movies all the time. I'm literally like a movie addict. I, love movies i've probably seen every single movie on netflix so i don't really go out drink and party like most people do on the weekends the only way i socialize with people is going to the gym eating some amazing food or watching a movie that is literally my life i that is my three favorite things gym food movies so i literally watch movies 
all the time. I love movies. But this is a very hard question because I'm not sure what movie is my favourite because I've seen so many. So I'm going to split this question into two. I'm going to do my favourite movie franchise and then my favourite movie. So my favourite movie franchise. Now this is a very hard question too because I'm a massive Star Wars fan, massive Marvel fan, massive Harry Potter fan. But if I'm going to have to pick out all of them, as much as I love Star Wars, Harry Potter literally is my childhood. I read all the books and I love the films. So Harry Potter is my favourite franchise, closely followed by Star Wars. Don't like literally, there's probably Star Wars memorabilia. In my, there actually is, there's a Darth Vader right over there. I love Star Wars that much. But Harry Potter literally, I just love the Harry Potter films. I don't know why. I'm like a Harry Potter nerd. I used to do like Harry Potter quizzes and win all the time. So I love Harry Potter. But my favourite movie, single movie, would have to be, ooh, so. I've literally been sat here for about five minutes trying to figure out what my favourite film is because I have so many, it's so hard to choose. But I have to say, it's between Dark Knight, just because Heath Ledger's performance is literally amazing. It actually killed him, like he put so much effort into it and it was one of the best films I've ever seen. And this is gonna be a random one, but remember the Titans, the Denzel Washington American football film? I love that film. It's so motivational and it's, I just love it. But there's clearly loads of films that I would say, but they're the two that come to mind right now. So them two are my favorite films. Harry Potter is my favorite franchise. So question number eight, what does Tonk mean? So if you don't know what Tonk is, me and my friend Jamal and his dad started a clothing company called Tonk. And a lot of you probably don't know what it means because I've had so many questions, even by people I know, what is Tonk? But I've been saying Tonk since I was a little kid. And it's just a slang word that I use, but it originally comes from Jamaica, but a lot of people in Cambridge say it. So Tonk literally means like big and strong, like, like hench. It's just another word for hench or big or strong. It is literally just a slang word for looking good and being strong. So that is what Tonk means. So if you feel like that's you, buy some Tonk wear. So question number nine, what music do I like? Now this one is easy. Like, it's not like the movies where it takes me ages. I like one genre and one genre only really. And that is hip hop rap. So I am a massive J. Cole fan. Literally seen him live about four times. I love him. I would like very conscious rappers. Also like Grime. Clearly Grime in England is massive. Skepta, Wiley, all of them guys. Like it is great. Love grime, but rap, like American hip hop, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, like Jay-Z, Nas, Tupac, all them kind of rap, like conscious rappers are my favorite. Also, Loki, Immortal Technique, Akala, Black the Ripper, people like that, like conscious rappers from England or America, I love them. But J. Cole is my favorite. I could literally listen to J. Cole all day long and not get bored and know all the lyrics because I've been listening to J. Cole since 2008, since before he was famous. I love J. Cole. Literally, he's the greatest. He is the GOAT. I don't care what you guys say, J. Cole is the GOAT. So, question number 10. Are we bringing out Tonk hoodies? So, the answer to that question is, we will be eventually, at the moment, we're trying to get the t-shirts done and the vest. So, because it's summer, we're not gonna introduce hoodies just yet, but eventually when it starts getting a bit cooler, hoodies will come. I love hoodies. If you didn't know already, I literally have so many hoodies. I am obsessed with them. So I cannot wait to get Tonk hoodies. So as soon as they're available, I'll let you guys know. So the last question is, why did you buy a diary when you could just use your phone? So if you didn't know already, I brought a diary in my last vlog. It took me ages to find it. So the reason I brought a diary is to write things down. So I'm quite busy at the moment and I tend to forget things. So I'm gonna write down like, set this person a meal plan. We need this many t-shirts, blah, blah, blah. So, so I don't forget certain things because there's a lot of things going on. I brought a diary, but someone made a great point. Why not just do it on my phone? So the reason I don't do it on my phone is I use my phone a lot. Like it's always in my hand. Most people that know me are probably like, you use your phone way too much, but I do a lot on that phone. My notes are filled with stuff. So if I added to them notes with like a diary, I just would forget because there's so much stuff there. I forget it already. But if I have an actual book in front of me that I take around with me everywhere and make sure I write on it every single time I need to write something down, I'll get into the habit of literally writing it down, taking it with me, make sure I check every single day when I wake up, when I go to bed, what I need to do. So whereas on the phone, there's so many things going on on the phone, 
I will forget. So I say I get a text mid mid writing down the diary. I'll do the text and I'll forget to write in the diary on my phone what I wanted to do. So having the, the book diary is so much easier because there's nothing else stopping me. Literally just a book. There's nothing else to take my attention away from that. So that is that is the reason why. Because I'll just get distracted. That is the only reason why I'll bring a book diary. It's very old school, but I'm quite happy with it. I like my watermelon diary. So guys, that was my first ever Q&A. Thank you for all the great questions that I'm, I'm so happy. It's actually quite a long video right now. I'm sitting here, it's actually half an hour long. Hopefully it's not gonna be that long when I put it out. But thank you so much for everyone that sent me a question. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm very pleased with my first ever Q&A. I think it went pretty well. But anyways guys, if you want a Tonk t-shirt, go check out Tonk on Instagram. Don't forget to check out my Instagram for my free giveaway. You can win yourself a free t-shirt and a whole month's worth of online coaching with me. Speaking of online coaching, if you are interested, there is a link down below. Click on it, fill it in, and we can get started straight away. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.